Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where today I came home to uh, quite a little bundle of joy for my good friends over at CJRB. Uh, they have a project going on. It's a Kickstarter campaign, and we're going to talk more about it as we tear into this package. But since this package is so big, I thought I would kind of just uh, talk to you guys as we cut into this and take a look at it. Today we're going to be using the CJRB Mylea. And um, I will be honest, I know what's in this box and I'm very excited for it because I think it's going to turn out to be a pretty epic unboxing because it is, I believe it's just one model, um, but a lot of variety. This project is taking arguably their most popular knife of all time and making it with options that are just... I wouldn't say endless, but uh, there's going to be 40 different options. Yeah, 40. You heard that right. Uh, oh, they did. So thank you. CGRB, thank you for not loading this thing with peanuts. I thought I was going to have peanuts all over my desk. You guys are the best. So here we go. We got one, two, three, four. I think there's six in here. Or, oh, seven. We have seven CGRBs to take a look at. And uh, I don't even remember exactly what all I requested. So let's get in. Oh, there's some other stuff here. Nice. Okay, one second here. Got this aside. Okay. Now, let me set these here. All right, now we are situated and we are ready for some unboxing. Uh, let's see, is there any, there's no description, so we're going to completely wing this, and, uh, we're just gonna be surprised together, because like I said, even though I did, I, 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 I know what's coming, I don't know exactly what's coming, I guess is the best way to put it, and if that makes, doesn't make sense, well, yeah, you're talking to Wayne Sharp World, so I guess it all makes sense now. <laughs> let's get into this, and let's see what the first one is, and we have a box. We have a pouch. Yes, this is already lit. Let's see here. Is that a pyrite? That's a pyrite. That is another pi. Oh, oh, okay. Let's see what this is. Looks, oh, that's G10. I thought it was my Carta. As usual, perfect oh, blade centering, perfect blade centering. Oh, a nice G10 inlay. We're gonna be, uh, we're gonna keep things in order here as we do this. So we'll uh, close that, move it to the side, and now we can observe. Let's give it a flick. Oh, such a good detent, such a good detent. What steel are we looking at here? AR RPM 9 steel. Um, you know, I think the one knock people are going to have on these models, and not, and not all of them, I don't think they're all going to be like this, but this obviously has an inlay on one side. I've heard some people that, that really annoys them. I get it, but at the same time, I don't know. I mean, I actually kind of agree with that, but boy, oh boy. You get one of these things in hand, this is seriously... So the Pyrite in general, I think it's very fair to say that the Pyrite is the most popular CGRB model ever made. Um, and now with the options, I believe if I'm understanding this right, there's going to be 40 unique knives. I think they're all going to be pyrites. I think they're all going to be pyrites, uh, with various steels ranging from AR RPM 9 to Damascus to S90 V, uh, various colors and handle materials. So, um, I think in these next six boxes over here, we're going to be in for some doozies. Uh, of course, links for all this will be below for all of the full information, but that is the first one. Very, very nice. I love that stinking Warncliffe blade. That is just absolutely sexy. I said it. Awesome. 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 All right. Let's set that off to the side and let's get right into the next one. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll move kind of quick. I, I know there's only a so many, uh, so long we can look at one pyrite before we have to move on to the next one. We already know how awesome they are, so I will try and be as efficient as I can here. Uh, let's pull this one out here. We'll set that there. I think that's a that's a... boxes. Work with me here. Work with me. Oh, another G10 inlay. Okay, so I think we're kind of just by chance starting at the bottom here. In terms of uh, model options, Black G10, you can't go wrong with that. More perfect centering. I'm willing to bet that the centering on every one of these is going to be perfect. 
and two extremely consistent detents. Guys, there is two things. When I was at Blade Show, there was two things that I was just telling all the manufacturers. Be unique and be consistent. Be consistent. One after the other. I want to handle 20 CGRB pyrites, and I want them all to feel exactly the same. That is what I want. And feel the same in a good way. I don't want weak and soft detents. I don't want blade play. I don't want off-centering. I want good consistency. And... So far in every pyrite, not just these two, but in literally every pyrite I've handled, um, they've been phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. So I think we're going to start working our way up here. Let's see what we got next. Uh, those inlays are actually really nice. And with the G10, I like the, the inlay is slightly raised up, but for the G10 and the texturing on it, I really like that. Um, I think it looks good and I think it's going to give a great amount of texture to that handle. And let's see here. Now we're starting to get a little more exotic. What do we have here? We got some green going on. A very nice shade of green too. Very nice shade of green. Oh, and a little black. Kind of got some Joker play going on here. And uh, what we have here is of course, another pyrite. I think they're all the same blade shape. I don't I don't think all 40 knives are going to be the same blade shape, but I think all the ones that I have are going to be the same blade shape, which is this incredible Warncliffe blade. And now would be a good time. Oh wait, what's this blade steel? This is also AR RPM 9 blade steel. Uh yeah. That is a really really nice looking shade of green, like an emerald green. And this would be a good time to show you what else was in the box which was all these clips. You're going to have clip options. Um, and these are milled clips, not the same as this clip here. And I'm, I feel like that's already kind of gonna have to happen. Get the little Joker theme going on. I think that's gonna be pretty sweet. But you got purple, you got blue, you've got green, you got black, and then you also have just regular. So yeah. Nice variety there. Very nice variety and very nice colors. They're all nice solid colors, not wonky or scratchy or, or weird looking. They're pretty good job anodization there. Really like that. And uh, I don't I don't know if these are titanium or stainless or some type of steel. Um, I'm sure all the information will be on the Kickstarter. And as I said, of course, that will be linked below. Um, but yeah. Oh, let's check the blade centering. Better be perfect. Yes. Dead nuts. Dead nuts. Did you hear that crack? Fantastic. Another pyrite down. We still got four more to go. Let's see what we got in here. All right. Ooh, is this a Deadpool? This is, well, it's kind of a Deadpool. Let's see here. Just how, just exactly what that color is looking like. Because I think. Oh, this is, it's good. I think they were trying to go for red. Red is such a hard color to nail. Um, I was just talking recently. I've had a lot of trouble with red in general in my professional work life, trying with colors and stuff. But uh, surprise, surprise, more perfect centering. But uh, ooh, I like that. It's kind of like, the camera isn't really doing this color justice. I'm gonna try and describe it to you. It's kind of like a maroonish, like Merlot, light Merlot red but it's borderlining like maroonish, a little bit of purple hints. It's it's a nice color and it works really well with that black blade, really well. Like that a lot, but it's definitely not a full red. Hard to, and the light's kind of, the light's not really doing it any favor either because it's uh, just hitting it. It's But yeah, okay, kind of like a reddish purple. Um, like that black wash to that black wash in the red or any type of red, purple, whatever. That goes really, really good together. Really like that one. And of course, man, all of these, the choil is just perfect for me on these. And the blade is always, this is this is easily, in my opinion, the best CGRB model ever, ever stinking made. Oh, all these detents are just effortlessly crisp. There's nothing better than an effortless, effortlessly crisp detent to where you can just kick it out Oh, you get the sounds, you get the feel, you get the action. 
CGRB is on to something with this model. I think they're on to it and they know that they're going to get the most they can out of it, which is cool because, you know, back in the day, like when a knife was awesome, like when a great knife came out, you had one option. And what CGRB is doing with this is pretty damn cool. It, I, I think it's amazing. Uh, what is this? Damascus. Let's see here. I, I want to say I think this one's going to have an inlay. I think. Let's see if this one has an inlay. And the Damascus, by the way, is VG10 core Damascus. So decent stuff. You know, it's still Damascus, but VG10 is, is pretty good. Uh, centering is, I think I'd call that perfect. Would you let me know? Pretty, yeah, about as perfect as you can get. Yeah, yeah, it passes. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. Yes, that is... That is a flawless wood inlay. Absol I don't know if this is legitimately like real wood or if it is some type of artificial wood, but to be honest, I don't care. It looks good, it's clean, it's softened up here around the sides, so there's not like a real sharp edge, so this is gonna, it's not gonna wear and look nasty if it, if it takes a ding or a nick. Man, oh man, oh man, this is phenomenal. Looks great. I would like to see a different Damascus pattern. I, I, I will admit that. Um, I like this Damascus pattern, but I've seen better. But this still looks... Oh, and that inlay. So the inlay is contoured. If you can see that. It's kind of hard to see, but I think you can see it. I think the video... I think that kind of shows it. Um, you can definitely feel it when you hold this in hand. And I wouldn't call it a complete game changer because it's kind of like minimally contoured, but you notice enough to where it's very enjoyable. It's a, it's a very, very nice little touch. Oh, God. So damn good. So, so good. All right. Next up, let's see. And of course, we'll bring these all back out at the end here. Um, but we have another one, of course, and still one more to go after this. And just think, this is just a pinky's worth of the options. There's going to be 40, 40, 10, 20, 30, 40. I can count by tens. 40 unique knives in this collection. It's, it's going to be pretty sweet. Is that? Oh, my God. It's freaking contoured. All right. Let's go. Let's get this out of the way. So even this side, as you can see, it's contoured. I, I'm willing to bet this is going to be my favorite one. I'm, I'm highly confident in that. Um, yeah. Centering. Perfect. Perfect centering. Oh, holy shnikes. Fat carbon. That. Detent. Oh, it's so freaking good. Oh, my God. Yes, this is absolutely amazing. Is this S90V too? S90V steel. Woo! CGRB. Don't stop. Don't stop now, boys. This is amazing. This is like... It, it's basically artisan cutlery at this point. I mean, contour titanium, fat carbon, S90V. Not to knock and that... Is that milled? It's got to be milled. Holy crap, it's not. It feels milled. It does not feel heavy. This is a very light knife in terms of the size. So that is extremely impressive. Oh my gosh. This is incredible. Uh, oh. This one is actually just a hair better than the rest. Listen to this. Oh, wicked snap. This is Fantastic. Blade centering still on point. Yes, it is perfect. That is something. That this is I I'm gonna be blown away if the next one is better than that because that was the bee's knees. Let's see. What do we got in this last box? Oh boy. I love it when a company has something good and runs with it. They don't stop. They 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 give they 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 give you as much as they can of it. And that's what we're getting here. Another, another type of it. Oh, I can't even talk right now. I'm so excited. It's another contoured one. And uh, let's take a look at this one. I'm assuming this is going to be S90V as well. 
Um, blade centering. We are seven for seven on the blade centering, folks. Perfection, and what is the inlay? Ooh, is this green? Yeah, green micarta. Nice, so nice. Oh my gosh, this is phenomenal. And I really do, let's get up close and personal with this micarta. This is very nice. Could probably use a little mineral oil on the bottom half there, we're starting to dry out, but up towards the top, get it to all look uniform and the same. Oh man, let's get that out of the way. Okay guys, it is officially on. This link below, you are going to want to check this out. I don't have all the pricing for you, I'm sorry. Um, all the information is gonna be in the link below. Um, I have a feeling there's going to be plenty to go around. So I don't think anyone's gonna miss out on this if they want one. Uh, this contoured titanium, I mean, you can see it. You can literally see it here. Um, this is something, this is so good. So stinking good. Oh man, by far the best feeling pyrite ever. Um, and the budget ones feel great too. Like I'm said, like I said, the, even the budget one, just the just just the flat flat steel handles. This I, I, this might be titanium actually, since it's I, I don't know the details would be all that. Okay, I'm tripping over my words like an idiot right now, but I just I can't believe what we have here. We have an evolution of one of the best button lock knives to ever be made, like literally ever be made. Um, let's get it in here. Oh gosh, I love that wood inlay. Like I'm absolutely in love with that wood inlay. Um, that looks so good. Let's see, let's get that right in here and let's get this one right here. And there we go guys, that. I think it's pretty fair to say that, I, I, at least personally, I think this is one of the better unboxings in my channel history. Definitely the best CJRB unboxing. And more importantly, I like what this is about. It's about getting everybody one of the best knives they want with all the flavors. And keep in mind, this is just seven options. There's going to be 40 options of what you can get. That's insane. This is badass. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And until the next one, I'm out.